a campaign group opposed to you gas guzzlers. I know I did, brother. Uh, has claimed responsibility <laughs> for an attack on car dealership in Exeter that saw activists slash at least 60 car tyres, tyre extinguishers. They called it an act of retaliation after two young girls were killed in a crash at a London school earlier this summer. The group posted a video online appearing to show someone damaging uh, parked cars with a drill. The activists claim SUVs or sports utility vehicles are eight times more likely to kill children in collisions than smaller cars, describing the vehicles as a climate disaster, dangerous and unnecessary. Two eight-year-old pupils died after a Land Rover crashed through a fence and into the study prep school in Wimbledon last month. And, look, if you want to have your protests against SUVs, <clears throat> personally, I think it's not your choice. If you don't like them, don't buy one. If other people want to have them, then it's their choice. They should be able to do it. And also, this is criminal damage. So I don't care if you say, as a protest group, you know, we're supporting this. This has got absolutely nothing yeah. to do with a, a tragedy which has taken place at a school. Mm -hmm. We don't quite know the reasons why necessarily for, for that particular yeah. accident. Uh, and I dare say, you know, the situation will be uh, horrific and it's tragic for the family and, and those who are uh, gone and lost. It's awful. I, d I um, do think it's, it, feels, it has a, a, a whiff of the politics of envy, doesn't it? It, 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 has, it, it has. does. This has nothing to do with 4x4s, SUVs yeah. or, or what people drive. This is a, a wanton act of destruction and I hope they find them, Ooh. I hope they're yeah. prosecuted and I hope they're put away. I mean, I, I think doing it and saying it is it, that it's do in the that. name of this accident that happened, mm. a terrible incident that happened, and we still don't know, actually, yeah, you what, know, what the ins and the outs yeah. of no. what happened to those two poor little girls. And I think doing it in the name of that is in pretty bad taste, to say the least. Now, I don't know about the... I tried to find that fact that they said that there sports utility vehicles are eight times more likely to, to cause accidents. No. I did try and find that. I couldn't find it. I wonder where they got the information they from. Made it up. Yeah. And also for them saying that um, they're a climate disaster. Now, some of the older ones were, perhaps, but some of the newer SUVs are actually they're partly electric correct. and are actually much cleaner <coughs> vehicles than their older counterparts and then a lot of cars on the road. I that's, never thought yeah, I, would, exactly I would be right. saying that, but it's actually special. some of those SUVs are quite well, climate morons, friendly. Right? These but, morons, so using well, that as have, an excuse, they'll probably have, have, have drilled the tyres of quite a few yeah. electric vehicles. You've got what 60 you, vehicles in a, a Land Rover dealership, which is what it was. Uh, about half of those will probably be electric cars. Yeah. So they've actually yeah. damaged them. I've and they've also this... damaged... They're only damaged... It's not just criminal damage to a tyre. It's actually... These are very heavy vehicles resting uh, on the on the base of the wheel. It's, it's actually damaging the wheel. Of it's yeah. millions of pounds worth of yeah, cars, Yeah, if you right? add it all it's up. It's millions of pounds mm. worth of cars. I think it's completely and utterly irresponsible. But when you... So not, forget about, the, you know, what they're doing to the families <clears> of the poor killed children who died. Mm. But, they're, you know, we, so we were told last week when... the. The, the Blade Runners, the guys that are going cutting down the yeah, US yeah. cameras, you know, we mustn't uh, condone uh, any sort of illegal activity. You never see the left uh, ever ever uh, saying that this is a disgusting act and it's a nope. criminal act I and they should did. be. You're, well, yeah. You don't represent the left, though. I'm talking about the official left. The official you left. You know, you don't see Keir Starmer coming out and going, this is a disgrace, they should be prosecuted. If I was the DPP, which I used to be, I would be prosecuted and do you know to, why? to the, I, I tell to you, the extent of the exactly. law. Exactly. I'll tell you exactly why. Back to 1997 when the Labour Party was, you know, riddled with, just before Blair coming in, a lot of, you know, proper socialist, mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that, it's a democracy, Marxist, real hardened left-wingers. Mm. Blair comes in, these guys have got no idea where to go. They don't know where to yeah. go, they're completely homeless. And so the whole environmental thing really came into its own. Mm. That's where you can go. If you're a socialist, if you're a left-winger, if you're a mad Marxist, you need an enemy. You need an enemy every day of the week. You've got to argue against something, otherwise your political ideology comes tumbling down. Behind all of these people, Just Stop Oil, Extinction Rebellion, these half-wits that go slashing tyres, these are anti-capitalist, absolutely extreme, left-wing criminals. They're all rich That's kids what as they're, well. They're often rich kids as well. Yeah. But that underpins their central ideology. That's what they are about. They hate capitalism. They hate big cars. They hate success. They hate the Tories. But also, and they associate it all they together hate, as one thing. They hate the truth on the basis that some of these cars mm. uh, have even better technology. Yeah. And in yeah, fact, they, they are safer. And, they don't and care and about the truth. And as you say, that. it is the yeah. politics yeah. of envy which is driving yeah. much like of their action. Said, and, and it is appalling.